the best haircuts to have if you have big ears. Now, I hate to say that because it just doesn't sound right and it's not meant to be insulting or make fun of anyone with, with larger ears, but in my experience, over 25 years of being in this industry, anytime I had a client sit down and that was a, con a, a concern of theirs, they would literally come out and say, I've got big ears. So it's like if you have a high forehead, oh, I have a high forehead or I have a large nose or I've got a big chin, whatever it is, if you have it, you know you have it, okay? And it's nothing to be ashamed of uh, whatsoever. But I have been getting more and more requests and this is the first time I've actually ever talked about this specific haircut and it's for someone who has larger ears, okay? It may be common sense to, oh, let me get a haircut that simply just covers my ears. Yes, it's actually kind of that simple, but what you need to take in, into consideration is the entire shape because you do not want to have a haircut that literally, you know, you have all this covered like this and then it's like short here. I mean, that looks hideous. So you have to make sure that whatever haircut you're getting, even if it's covering the ear, that it's balanced, proportionate, and that it's gonna look good for you, whether you're male or female. This video is not just for men, this is for men and women because I've done many pixie haircuts on women that have said the same thing. I've got you know big ears or my ears are a little bit larger. I don't want them to be seen whatsoever. And I get it, I understand it. So I'm always keeping in mind what the client wants. And if you are in this situation, and you feel that you have either a large forehead or whatever you feel that is something to you that you aren't happy about, you need to explain that to your stylist or to your barber, whoever's cutting your hair saying, you know, I don't like my ears showing. I feel like I have larger ears. I want them covered. I want them to be hidden the entire haircut. You know, uh, after we're done, like I want the shape to completely cover my ears. So you have to make sure though that you're letting the stylist know or the barber know what you're actually looking for as far as a haircut. Because again, they may not even know. They, they may say, oh, let me just cover the ears and give you again a hideous kind of butcher job and it's not balanced. So anything that is covering, now the hair doesn't always necessarily have to be covering the entire ear, you know, because sometimes maybe just the top is protruding out a little bit and this is normal. Or I've been in situations with a client, they have very, very large earlobes and they want that to be covered. So yes, you do need to have it a bit longer. But what's interesting is what is on top of that foundation here? What type of haircut is it? How is it layered? Because you can still camouflage an ear that is a little bit on the larger side simply by having something that's very close around the ear. Maybe that even shows some of it because I've had clients where this is sticking out, the top part of the earlobe is sticking out quite a bit, but here is normal. So I'll actually create something that it just covers the top of the ear, but this is all exposed and it looks fine, okay? And, and it's something that the client likes and that works out very well for the shape. And again, it really comes down to the professional cutting your hair. Here's another example. So something, as you can see through here, that's got a fringe to it, with some bangs here. This is, once again, covering the ear. But as you see, this is all layered so that even if we want to go back a little bit, we're not completely exposing the ear, but it still looks kind of soft and we can still kind of rake this back, right? We can still rake it back because the haircut and the entire shape is all layered and blended properly and then it's very well balanced under here. So, you know, or this could be very, very long going in through here and it could be kind of more of a shorter stacked bob. But what you don't want is something that's unbalanced, right? Something really short here and super long, you know, it's, or not layered on top and it's layered around here. You really gotta make sure that the haircut is gonna be suitable for, for what you're looking to cover, which would be the ears, all right? Another prime example, this is almost the same exact haircut as last time. So as you can see where we're going with this, right? Sometimes by camouflaging the ear too much or making it look like it's just like a bowl on your head, you know, some people may not know why you're doing that, but to you, you know you're trying to cover up the ears. So you need to have something that is going to camouflage whatever part of that ear, of your ear that you're not really thrilled with, whether it's down here, whether it's up top here, 
and play around with different styling options, honestly. When you play around with different styling options, you can experiment and find what's gonna work. All right, here's another one. The bottom is exposed, but this is all layered in through here. If this particular you know, client or mannequin's ear was protruding quite a bit up out through here, you wouldn't even be able to see it because it's all camouflaged, right? Now, on the other end, if the earlobe was really, really, really big here, and I expose that, then chances are you're not gonna be too happy <laughs> if you're one of my clients. And obviously, right, if you have a longer haircut or long layered shape or a long bob, anything that covers the hair to the eye, which is like very, very visible, yes, that's going to work. But I've noticed that you, a lot of people that tend to have larger ears they always end up going with something a bit shorter, which is interesting. You would think they want hair as long as possible to hide everything, but no. I've actually you know, been in this situation where I'm cutting the hair shorter on the most on more people who have some uh, insecurities about their ears. So that's it. It really comes down to the shape and what you're trying to cover up and the person cutting. Hopefully they know what the heck they're doing. Let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful. I love to know. I've never done a video on this before. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with a salon guy.